Good morning. It is Wednesday. It's Wednesday, right? Sure. It's Wednesday, and we're going to get ready and then it's go to the Thursday. con. Is it actually Thursday? Yep. Good morning. It's Thursday. No, you should keep it. Okay. No, I'm not going to keep it. And we are going to go put makeup on and then get breakfast and then go to the con. And we slept in a lot, so it's a little later than anticipated, but we're going to go play games. <laughs> and we keep sleeping in and it is now noon and I'm kind of mad because I think that we should have tried to get up earlier and experience the con more that's the whole point we flew out here anyway we just met up with John and you guys will see him later and I'll get him to say hi but we are now going to get breakfast yeah well, those are the dealers over there those are the HQ behind us this is the big HQ this is our. This is their special uh, events area where they're setting up. She's gonna run special D and D. This is the Maze Arcana thing, I think. And then there's all the D and D tables back there. Board game library over there. And then special D and D. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. What are you doing over here? Uh, we're setting up for our show. That's what I thought. It's yeah. Maze Arcana, right? That's right. You guys are playing Eberron. Uh, yes, we are. She's, she's making a vlog, so you should tell her what's going on. Oh, hey, yeah. So Rudy over there is setting up the cameras for our new Maze Arcana show with uh, some of the. D&D &D, uh, staff. Cool. Yeah, so we're basically running the same show, or we're running a different show in the same world at the same time as the main Maze Arcana show. scenario is it's a sandbox you guys get a job and you then have to figure out what you want to try to do to succeed at that job in whatever manner you want whether that's kicking in the front door and punching everyone until it's good or whether you're gonna have a long con and you're gonna infiltrate your way in the back door and then just walk out without anyone even noticing kind of thing Dusk City at Laws and it was amazing and if you haven't checked it out I'm going to add a link to that Kickstarter in the doobly-doo. Uh, it is my friend Rodney who is designing it and it was so much fun. I was really worried because I love playing role-playing games and board games but I'm usually worried about um, games being a little too talky and to role play, I kind of, you know, in front of people, sometimes I can't articulate myself right, and I tend to prefer role playing games that have really heavy mechanics that I can rely on. I really love fourth edition D and D. That should give you an idea. But God, I loved it, and part of it is is the person running it uh, helping me with improv. But I got to be a character called Furiosa, and I got to kick butts and smash heads, and we ended up going and completing the heist and oh it was just it was really fun we really had a good time we made a new friend his name is john and he's going to be hanging out with us playing games and right now it's uh, i think it's like 5 p.m and we've only played one game so far it took us about four hours i don't know what our plan is they're setting up on the stage over there um so we might go watch some of that we might get lunch pretty soon or dinner i guess at this stage so uh we'll see so on a note about temperature, uh, it's like really cold. It's like minus four. Oh, it's 
very cold, so don't come here. Bad idea. <laughs> On another note, and I'm going to try and be nice, there's a lot of people at this con wearing red baseball, baseball caps. Oh, it's cold. That have text on them that says make Faerun great again. And it makes me really, really sad and angry. And it makes me feel a little unsafe and scared because that slogan makes me feel like the su they support the current president. And uh, the slogan is kind of being used to, to send messages of hate and um, ignorance and intimidation. The people wearing those hats haven't really thought that through at all. And, and uh, I wish they had because it's not good. <laughs>to the convention for a bit but Derek got dragged into a really long meeting with Baldman Games about um, just a variety of things including Gen Con and stuff like that and that meeting ended up lasting like four hours or something anyway it's super late now we're in the lobby of the Marriott which is like literally across the street from the convention center which is great because it's freezing outside and I'm a little hungry. I'm gonna see if I can scrounge up foods from somewhere again. Like I just eat all the time now. Um, but we are trying to gather people in the lobby here and hopefully we're going to get to play some games because so far this con I've played one game and I would really like to get some more. We brought Secret Hitler and we brought a bunch of co-op games that I might like to play. So fingers crossed. that's all he's gonna say about that um, yeah they didn't win they got really close uh, they were each uh, off by one policy and uh, the Liberals just about snuck in a win there uh, it is 1am I am super tired now and um, we're gonna try and squeeze on one last game of one deck dungeon before bed and uh, hopefully we can get that done in the next 20 minutes and then I have to edit this entire blog so I suspect I'll be in bed by like 2.30. Do we get up early? Nope. Yay! Yay! What happened? We won! We won! Yay! We kicked the boss's butt. This is my character. Derek, do you want to come to yours? She's cool. What's the boss? The Eddie. He was tough, but we won, and it was great. He was tough, but fair. Okay, so we're in the lobby, and we're playing games late in the night because we wanted to make sure that we got our full convention experience. Um, what time is it? Wait, wait. Two something? Wait, yeah. Uh, do you know if we have a plan tomorrow? Uh, we do not have a specific plan tomorrow. Uh, I'm probably going to run more of Rodney's uh, Death City Outlaws. Uh, and beyond, it's really good. Yeah, beyond that, I don't think that we have a particular plan. Maybe you'll play a game or something like that if I can convince you. I have a couple of people meeting us for lunch, but I think that's on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So it'll be fun. Good night. Good night.